Greetings, YouTube. Kudis here, and welcome to episode 44 of this Let's Play in Europe Point of Silas 4 with the glorious elephant of Ayutthaya. Where we last left off, we vassalized the formerly almighty France. And there has been some time between my recording sessions, and I've been thinking about the interesting things I can do with them. Because I've vassalized France and Tuscany, while I'm almost done with annexing uh, little Tibet here, which will give me back one of my excess Diplo slots. So things of note that I'm going to do, first of all, um, France and Tuscany are going to hate me for a while, but they had no friends when they were independent. And I highly suspect that no one will want to be their friends after, so I don't actually care if I enforce religion on them. But, oh, apparently, uh, their, reli their religious, uh, their, their liberty desire needs to be lower first. So we're going to lower their liberty desire by giving them some friendship, and then we're going to uh, force religion on them. No, Dilly, we're not getting married. You're getting backstabbed at some point down the line, eventually. Uh, suppress the rebels in Birija, or what the hell's Birija anyway? Oh, it's up in the north. It is up in the north. It's a wordless province. Take your auton autonomy and leave me alone. All right. Now I want more wars to be doing more things. Um, I need a diplomat for that. I actually need. Several diplomats. I have four diplomats. Three of them are busy. It's fantastic. So, uh, when can I deck up the military? It's gonna. Oh, it's actually not gonna be that that long. But I need to deck up these 22. I want imperialism so badly. I'm at the level of imperialism, but my diplo points are just not up to par. Maybe I should focus back in diplo. Especially now that I have uh, too many vassals. Might give me a chance. Especially now that I have 552. We have to move some back in Diplo. Again, 911. That's a better ratio. I mean, 95 because I'm still annexing Tibet, although Tibet is almost done. Okay, now I want to check something. Hey, Brittany. How do you feel about giving France back a province? Like Normandy. Yes. Now where do we stand? Coalition. France has a lot of coalition opinion, but uh, the rest of these people... Well, they're kind of high. Maybe I need to leave Europe alone for a bit. But we have started giving France back his rightful clay. And his capital is still in... North America, which is ins essential for our needs. Now that is really funny. France still hates me, though. I've just given him back a piece of land, and he still hates me. I did that because, from what I remember, Brittany is still allied with... Uh, yeah, he's allied with a bunch of people. They're all weak, as far as I'm concerned, but it's still a bunch of people. Ducats a bunch. Maybe I can get another army. Uh, Mongolia has no friends, and I have claims on his face, so I'm gonna go kill him now while I just finish some tying up some loose ends. Can I threaten a war on Portugal, actually? Before I go further? Portugal would give me either Cap or Banganka. And I can't tell. Um, I think I want Banganka more. But Cap is nice. Is, is Cap really nice? 15 development, important center of trade, Portuguese Catholic. It's a great province, but it's distant overseas. Oh, he's colonizing this as well now. Banganka is not nearly as good, but it does have the severe distinction of allowing me to claim uh, the rest of Majapahit's lands. It's useful. And it's not distant overseas, so Portugal give me a uh, Bangka. Mine. Thank you, Portugal, for your generosity. It's most appreciated. This is my truce and oh I don't have a truce with Bomanis. I could attack him now. Do I want 
to. Can I build a base army? No, I can't. I need a hundred more ducats. Because I want to have so many troops that I'm going to attack Pomonis and I'll have like... I'll be drowning him in manpower. That's the idea. First we'll kill Mongolia though, because that's an easy war. Unhappy estates. Hey nobility, want the new island I just got? It's kind of crap. Here you go, have fun. Okay. Uh, our nobility is on the same page as us. Pretty sure Mongolia wants to become a uh, father for Hui. Ooh, a colony has become self-sustaining somewhere. The glorious Australia that finished? Yes, I think so. Glorious Australia finished a new province. What do I want to colonize next? Um... Nine hundred, uh, five hundred ninety days. Yeah, okay. Let me split that in half. That's decent. It is decent because we will be creating these colonies and then shoving them inside of France. Our diplomat is here, so Mongolia. The Oracle shall be Ninguyang. Hello, Mongolia. Let us have this battle tank. It is going to be uh, fantastically glorious. My vassals, do your tank. When does my truce with this guy end? 11 more years. And with this guy? Oh, 6 years. Nice. Not bad. Do I have claims on... I have a claim on Kling. Could always just threaten a war Kling and then go to war with Wu. It's also a possibility. Have I established properly through uh, diplomatic feedback what I really want? Let's make sure we make it clear. All that Queenland as well. All of Mongolia's clay. Oh, I can't actually demand it because my vassal has it. And we've integrated Tibet. Now a lot of vassals are unhappy. Actually, no. Not really. A lot of the vassals are not as unhappy as they could be. And Hurai is actually kind of more tame. Now I can't start another annexation. I'm thinking of annexing Malabar. Uh, yeah, I've told, Mal I've told Makassar that I want all this stuff. He has claims. I'll be able to give it to him. Looking good. Let's just sit on Mongolia for now. Korea has... Uh, stuff. Maybe I'll shove all of Korea inside Huai as well. Oh, the nobility wants more land. Oh, right, because we've just annexed uh, all of Tibet. Are there any religious problems? No, it's very, very nicely... Uh, Let's give garbage provinces to the nobility. Until they leave me alone. That's still a garbage province and my nobility is still unhappy. Hmm. Still unhappy. Whoa, Laza has 18 development. What is this? That's kind of garbage province nobility. Oh, come on. 9.7. Garbage province, nobility. Still not enough. Those are slightly better pro Those are pretty damn good provinces. I'm not giving that stuff away. <laughs> Bhutan I can totally give away. There we go. Nobility, shmobility. Oh, I have a swivel cannon that's just uh, chilling. Let's go add it to the 18 stack. Oh, 32k of Mongolians. Well, not that surprising, but uh, not afraid. Let's go kill them. Let's charge at them, head on. Gained Orgle. Gained 
Lanzhou, which doesn't matter to us. Font just went full vertical again because we ate the Tibet. Varanasi Bamanis has a claim on it. Crap, do they have military ideas as well? Uh, humanist trade quantity. Oh, they have quantity. That's how they have such a big army. But I'm sure they have uh, military ideas in the list. Uh, Cavalry Combatability, Land Maintenance Modifier, Land Leader Shock. Yeah, okay. I would think they have more. Okay, he spawned some uh, pretenders. Isn't that adorable? Where's his capital anyway? Ooh, the pretenders are fighting him. Is his capital? Siege of Jirem. Oh, his capital is Ir Ure up in the north. What? Okay. That's a strange place for a capital, but I'll take it. And by take it, I mean I'm going to conquer it. Done this war. And this war, I'll mostly just feed Huai. Because Huai hungry. Let's go get the other fort. Shenyang, because I really want this. We'll gain a base tax in Siak. That's nice. That is very nice. That's an easy war. That is such an easy war. One of the pretenders is probably going to attack me. I don't even care. Merchant Guild Shindig has happened. Bring it, pretenders, or whatever. You're all gonna die in the meat grinder that is my army. I don't care about the Mongol the rebels. Kill an army in Dornogovi. Yeah, I have moral I have morale problems. Decline of the spice trade. Oh no! It's a terrible event. Spice so good. Decline of the nobility has expired. Which means my nobility is now super influential. New World missions, which allows me to extract 100 damage points from them. And I could give them money to bring them back to positivity, but uh, I'm okay with uh, what it is at right now. Almost tolerance means plus 3. Oh, 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 oh. Already at 7% on this capital, it's gonna fall very quickly. I am taking over this part of the world, it is crazy. On Ordos, yeah, that's not even a hard war, it's like a joke. Fighting Great Mongolia and it's just dying. We should probably form a wall between uh, Oyurit and the rest of the region and say, like, this is mine. We could also just eat Yarkand. Nope, Yarkand is just going to get killed by Afghanistan instead. Close enough. Oyurit is 156%. Gained his capital. Yeah, he doesn't want to be there anymore. Okay. Now, the important provinces are these two. Which shall be transferred to Huai, the, the vassal. Shengde is kind of a prop province, but it'll also go to Huai. This is a fort, so I want to take it from you. This is not a good province, so here. Probably can't transfer this to the guy. Uh, maybe I'll need to keep going just a little bit so I can transfer more stuff. Yeah, the 19th stack should not be attacking this. Okay, let's occupy more things. Hmm, that's in 
invest in the naval force. I like Diplotech. We need more Diplotech. Ooh, I can take up in military! Yeah. That means we can get better cannons. More people means more taxes, always. Wait, I have two spare diplomats. Where do my vassals stand? Tuscany is now super chill. Okay. Their opinion must be positive. Alright, we're working on that. Hmm. Malabar, I should probably improve the opinion of... Stack of pretender rebels in Mongolia. Oh, we're just gonna kill his army. Yeah, I really have morale problems. I need to do something about that at some point. This is annoying. Is he getting stack wiped already? I guess so. Squish. No more Mongolia army. That was not even hard. Alright. I can deal. I can deal. I think I know some of this province. Sisigar. I'll see if I can take all of that then. Let's finish Humanist. Yes! Most stable nation in the world. Um, let's just get these little occupations out of the way and then we're gonna do. Oh, I don't even need them. Transfer that to Huai and the two forts. And then I can transfer up along this line. Hmm. Alright, Mongolia. What do you got? What do you got? Hot hot. The forts. The things that lead up to your capital. The other fort, Chengde. And actually, this is occupied by me. If I transfer it to Huai, What's his overextension at? He still has some, whatever. Here, have like all of the overextension again. You useless vassal. Let's on Black Flag ourselves. That was nice. Jirai is still super peaceful. Nice. Glorious Australia is not colonizing on its own. Oh, Tuscany is super unhappy. Where, where did that opinion come from? Did I force religion on you or something? The next vassal was at war? No, I don't get it. Got some natives in Suspenakic. Uh, now that we are at peace, can I threaten war Burgundy? seems highly unlikely. But it would be really funny, and also I really want at least 60 troops in the... Uh... Co? No? No, I can't. Of course not. I believe Aragon was threatened. Can I threaten war him? For Pisa? Yes! Nice. I could get Pisa for Tuscany. Pope worships me. Milan is kind of upset, but I'm sure that can be remedied. Alright. You know what? Give me Pisa. Thirteen aggressive expansion. I wish it told me, like, where the coalition will fall. But, it won't. So now, oh crap. Oh crap, we can actually have a coalition right now. Most of Europe. 
Well, it doesn't include Asia, does it? I can always kick some people out of the coalition. things, whatever. Now Tuscany did not detect any aggressive expansion for me giving them another province. Good, good. Pretty soon they're going to be super happy with me. As their opinion turns positive, they're going to be super mad at me. And they will have the right fate. Conversion. Yeah, let's convert that stuff. Let us convert that stuff! Provincial unrest in Bangkok, that doesn't even matter. It'll be converted by the time it's done. Okay, my, my job I hit, how about you give me a province as well? I believe we have a claim on Button. No? Recently gave into threat. That's gonna go away very, very soon, I'm not worried. One day I'll go to a proper war with this guy, but for now, I'm quite content not having to deal with straits and boats and stuff. Actually, what's his fleet at? Maybe I don't care. Maybe I'll just go to war with him. Um, Majapahit. He has 40k troops, that's not scary. Um, probably not gonna find him that way. I may even have passed him already. Um, Majapahit, 62 boats. He has 62 boats and 19. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the straight. I need to have a landing on his island before I go to war with him. I'm get myself a claim on Banten, and that's gonna be my landing. Banten would be a great landing. Colonialism against Castille. Whatever. I don't really care all that much about that part of Africa. Alright. Conflicts for Bukhara. That is also something I don't really care for. Oh, you're a vassal of Afghanistan. That's nice. Uh, Tuscany has a positive opinion of us by a lot. Hey, Tuscany! How about you hate me? For the right reasons. Yeah! Now, has he started religious converting his stuff already? Oh, he has. He has. Siena adds increased boring cost on Tuscany. That's unfortunate. But, now that you're Buddhist, there's probably no one who's going to want to save you. And that's hilarious. Well, we have renewed our massive loan. We're still one over our Diplo limit. Hmm. Yeah, I need a proper landing in here. Alençon would be sufficient. Maine as well. Let me, um... Diplomatic feedback all of Brittany so that France makes claims on it. Come on, France, get the claims. Great Britain wants my shit. Great Britain, there's something you have not understood here. Will not have my shit. In Portugal, you give me islands. In your infinite generosity. We should probably colonize these two provinces. Retrial, more karma. Always take the karma. Always bet on karma. And I'm lagging a bit. Mm. Eh, take the money and leave me alone. Oh, we have less money. Probably because we have more army. Right, because we integrated Tibet's army. Okay. I think it is time. I think it is time to kill the Bamanis. No, it's not time. I can't fight him properly. It's not time at all. It's a terrible idea. Korea, though, that's another story. I can't declare war on him because my diplomats are all busy. I have three diplomats trying to keep the peace in my swarm of vassals. Look at that swarm of disobedient vassals. Place a relative on Tuscany's throne. I would achieve nothing right now. I'm gonna let that stuff decay for a bit. Uh, karma. Yes, it's in karma. 
Mongol nor China. Nice. We have Quang and Mongolia now at each other's throats. Who is going to win? Who is going to lose? We have lost trade protection against Portugal. He's probably pirating me. Which means I probably despise him. No, not even. He despises me for the threat in the war. That's cute. That is all very cute and dandy. Tuscany has a claim on Corsica. That is also very cute. Styria exists and is fighting Austria from within. That makes no sense at all. The Ottomans are my rival. They're the only possible rival I have. I should add. Which annoys me because I really want to kill Pomanis. Well, I'm ahead of them in tech by quite a s Oh. I'm actually ahead of them by four military techs right now. I'm tempted to try to go to war with them once I hit tech 23. But that might be a bad idea. Our treasurer died. Our treasurer died! Colonialism against Burgundian Canada. Why is there not a plus three guy? Alright, let's go with the inflation reduction guy. I could go with some inflation reduction. I need admin efficiency too. There's so many things I need now that I'm Western. Do we have claims on Japan? I could make a claim on Kozuke. I could just go kill Japan. Japan has no friends. I'll get a claim on Japan, I'll go kill Japan. Always rule in favor of karma. Never get a claim on Kozuke. Where are my boats? Alright, they're protecting France. The force of uh, maintaining French independence and strength in Canada. I want to kill Burgundy soon. That's the real target, Burgundy. He probably has military ideas too. Quality and defensive. Oh, disgusting. Whoa! Look at that. Brittany is getting killed by uh, Burgundy. Burgundy in conquest of Rouen. Where's Ruerg? And why are you attack getting attacked? I thought you two were friends. Attacking against Toulouse. Oh, it's because Burg uh, Brittany was allied to Toulouse. That's that's kind of stupid. I'm pretty sure uh, Burgundy's not going to take anything from Brittany. Well, he might. Tuscany, how's your decatalicization going? Halfway there, halfway there. Very nice. Need to prevent a coalition in a year. Milan will not be able to join a coalition, which is nice. Pope man would like a friendship. Pope man will not get a friendship. Whoa, Hungary, Hungary. I need a friend that wants to kill Burgundy. That's what I need now. No, Delhi. I should probably... Uh, Delhi's still going to be useful for the final war against Bamanis. That is going to be... Uh, that is going to be Delhi's final use. I'm going to go kill friggin' Bamanis once and for all. Actually, let's assemble all of the armies that I have. See if it can, like, amount to something. I dread the idea of starting a war against the friggin' Bomanis. But, uh. It's to my advantage. Get much up I hit? How about. Oh, I can't get my territory right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start the last war against uh, this guy. I'm gonna recall this diplomat. Maybe get a piece of land from my uh, jump I hit before I go. Oh. But, uh, 
reached the end of the episode, it seems. Let's just get my piece of land. Fountain. Tony he will. He will. Whatever I ask for, he will give me, so give me Banten. Thank you. Kind, sir. I got a cord out. Kick in the cord. And forget about it. And, uh. Afghanistan threatened by me? I have no idea. Can I turn for more Momonis, actually? That'd be a funny thing. Let me find that out, then I'll quit the episode. Oh, Bamanis actually responds to threaten wars. Whoa. That's uh, actually an interesting find. It means I can weaken him that way. Anyway, let me think of that on that, and uh, I'll be back next time.